Hello, DC fans. Thanks for tuning in. This is JR369. Well, today I'm going to take a look at the Pop Hero Suicide Squad number uh, 99, 101, and 103. Rick Flag, Captain Boomerang, and El Diablo by Funko. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide? No escape from reality. Open your eyes. Look up to the skies and see. Okay, so let's look at the packaging for the Pops. You get the Pop Heroes logo right here, Suicide Squad logo right here. Here's the number for the character. We got the image of the character right here, and we got the name of the character's final figure. And it's recommended for ages 14 plus. And on the bottom, nothing else right here. And on the top here, we got the image of the characters. On the side, we got the image of... I mean, on the bottom, we got the image of the character on this side. And we got the name of the characters and the number. Pop Heroes on the top. And on the other side here, we got the full image of the characters and Pop Heroes. And the name and the number. And on the back here, we got the uh, fully image right here and the Pop Heroes logo, Suicide Squad logo. Now we got all of these pops in the Suicide Squad line. We got Joker, Harley, Deadshot, Rick Flag, Katana, Captain Boomerang, Killer Croc, El Diablo, The Joker, Harley Quinn, uh, Deadshot Masked, The Joker, Harley in her gown, Joker in his text, Tuxedo, and Enchantress. I really need to pick up The Joker, the common one. Harley Quinn. I definitely need to pick up Katana. I definitely need to pick up the Deadshot Mask version. The Joker to suit, which is a Walmart exclusive. It's really hard to want. He is really hard find to. You know, it's. Uh, yeah, I make. I make nonsense. Uh, I make nonsense, okay? Let me try that again. This Joker pop is really hard to find at Walmart. So yeah, I need to find this at Walmart. And we got the Harley Quinn in her gown. Got got her at Hot Topic online. Joker Joker and Tuxedo got him in in stores at Hot Topic. And also Enchantress, which is a Legion of Collectors exclusive. I really want to get her, but I don't want to pay $30 for a small pop. I mean, I don't want to pay her $30 for her yeah so that's about it for the packaging now let's open each of these pops let's start off with red flag let me do this off camera and also if you get one of those pop pops of the dc you get one of those things which is yeah throw it in the back now let's Let's take out. Oh, great. No, here we got Rick Flack here. No. No, I. Yeah, if you have those problems with pops, it has like. This pop here has like two. I uh, maybe two left feet or right feet. I I have no idea. I mean, yeah, it's really hard for him to stay. I mean, if you look closely at on right here, you can see his other leg is floating because this is the same feet, the same foot as this foot. So yeah, Funko maybe the maybe those factory people don't have any other feet so they instead use the others so yeah I picked the worst one 
in my pop collection. I don't want him to display like this. He looks like he's... Oh. Yeah, so... Yeah, he doesn't stand for me. I mean, look at the pop itself. Uh, it's really nice. Detail looks really good. The head on it looks really neat as well. Now, the whole outfit looks really good as well. Yeah, you can see the, the walkie-talkie or the phone, or I have no idea. We got two, I got two of the um, bullets right here. And we got the machine gun right here. I mean, it's painted well. It looks really good. And we got the pockets and everything. So, yeah. Looks cool. I really do like this one. So, that's about it for Rick Flack. Come on, Stan. Great. Now let's open up Captain Boomerang, the enemy of the Flash. Let's just stand him right here and came with those things. So, so here is Captain Boomerang, the Australian villain in the DC Extended Universe. Now, right here. It looks uh really good. I yeah, it looks really nice. You can see the scars and on him. You can see the bruise on his eye. I mean, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, you can see right here. Now the outfit. <sighs> yep. You can see the his outfit looks really good. You can see he is wearing this sweater that says Captain. I mean, you got these stars right here. I mean, you got two holster. I mean, three holsters for his boomerangs. You see another boomerang right here. I mean, yeah, it looks really good. Now the, uh... <sighs> Sorry for that noise. Just, I don't know. Yeah, it is pretty disgusting. So, um... Yeah, you can see the stripes on it. looks really good. It looks painted well. Yeah, it looks really... Nice, you can see the, the shoelaces right here. I really like how Funko added the shoelaces on here. So, yeah, that's about it for Captain Boomerang. Now, last, we got El Diablo. Now, I've heard he is going in the vault, so I had to get him before he gets in the vault. So, yeah, I had to get him. And so, here you go. Here we go, that was Diablo. Um, he's pretty cool in the movie. He looks really cool. Now, if now I've seen, I've seen what happens at the end of Suicide Squad. Yes, he is. Really, yep. Yeah, I don't want it too much. I don't want to spoil that much. No, I don't want to spoil the film for you guys. So, if none of you have seen the um, Suicide Squad movie, yeah. Now you can see the tattoos on it. You can see the um, I guess the Green Reaper side, maybe. Yeah, it is the Green Reaper side, cause yeah, it is. It is the Green Reaper side right here. You can see the um, the um, the numbers like five, six, seven. You got the seven right here. Now the uh yeah you can see like this stitch mark scratch right here. I mean it's weird that he he puts all his tattoos that makes him like a skull looking. I mean you can see his name Diablo, which is in Spanish is devil. Now the outfit on him is uh you can see his name right here his name tag right here. And you can see the tattoo on under his his coat, right? His jacket. You got the um, you got the uh, cross on this pants right here. You can see the two dots on it, and you get the numbers as two two one three. I mean, yeah, it's a uh, whoops. And also we got the um, the hill ciders. I I cannot read um curse um cursive and right here on the back you got the tattoo 
on his back of his head. It says HS13. I mean, yeah, the pop itself looks really cool. Now, these pops are really great. I mean, yeah, they look really nice. They look cool. But especially with Rick Flag, he just don't want to stand because of he has two feet. You know what? <sighs> yep. I probably got I probably maybe uh, Come on, stand, please stand. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, so yeah, the, the overall two pop, the overall two pops I really love this the Captain Boomerang and El Diablo. They look really cool. Yeah, the Rick Flag is an okay pop, but I don't really like how I picked up the this pop. I mean, look at him; he just don't looks really well. I mean, yeah. Maybe I had to find another one, or maybe call Funko for an, a replacement for. Maybe not. Maybe just yeah. Maybe I'll deal with it. So yeah, yeah. These pops are really cool. If you, if you're like, if you like the Suicide Squad movie, well, I highly recommend picking up these three. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for new videos every day. And turn on your notification if you subscribe, if you don't miss any new uploads. And follow me on Instagram at JAR369, link will be in the description. So, so yeah, have a good day and goodbye.